In other news now, new at 11 pilots, they have to, of course, be able to see the runway when they're taking off and landing. But over time, some of the runway lights will eventually burn out. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us from the Huntington Newsroom with how one airport has received much needed upgrade. Lane. Rob Lilly at the Ashland Regional Airport, the lights on the runway were slowly starting to fade. But with help from Grand Money, pilots will be able to comfortably take to the skies. For all the pilots at the Ashland Regional Airport in Worthington, Kentucky, lights on the runway are always an important component. When you turn the lights on, you can, you can see at nighttime, you can actually see the light, runway lights from 10 miles away. While flying at night can be avoided, some hazards in the sky cannot. Bad weather can also cause problems for pilots trying to find the runway, especially if the lights aren't working properly. Airport manager and pilot John Stein says their runway lights are in desperate need of an upgrade. Current lights we have, we've had for over 20 years. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, awarded the airport a more than $750,000 grant to help fix this issue. Kevin Yates with Hanson Professional Services says they have been working closely with this project, helping pilots like Timothy Mullins and Steins safely fly their planes. What we're doing as part of this project is replacing the runway lighting to the new LED. It would be a good benefit for the community. It will also increase the visibility from the airfield at night to aid in safety to pilots. The new upgrade will not only add a cost-efficient factor, but also comfort knowing the lights will stay on for years to come. It's a big deal when you break out of the clouds and you can see the runway in the lights. The LED lights will be more efficient and could be seen better. The airport's beacon will also be upgraded with anti-collision lights that will be installed with the runway lighting. Now, the installment of the lights was pushed back due to the pandemic, but the project is expected to, com to be completed early 2021. In the Huntington Newsroom, I'm Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you.